What are you saying people? Back with a bang. This is the management. Back with another video for you guys today. Now of course it is Financial Friday and of course just like every Friday, I'm strictly here to bring you guys a video straight to do with your finances. So in today's video, I'll be giving you guys five different principles which will determine if you become rich. Now, as you guys know, I love studying the rich, you know, trying to find out what they do, understand what they do differently to the rest of the world. And that's why in this video today, I'm going to explain those five different principles, break them down so that you guys can also know them, be enlightened to them and hopefully use them going forward. But before we get to that today, as always, I do want to say if you guys are new around here, Make sure to hit that red button below. Subscribe to the channel. You know, that's one thing that the rich do. They make sure they subscribe to this channel. That's one principle that, you know, everyone knows. You have to subscribe to this channel if you do want to become rich eventually. But add to that, please make sure we are liking these videos. That gives me an indication whether you did like the video, if you enjoyed it, you know, what you guys like to see, all that kind of stuff. Also, please make sure to continue commenting the good stuff, the usual, as always. And lastly, if you're new around here and you don't know this already, you need to make sure you're just sharing these videos with our friends so we can get them out to more people, put them in front of more people's eyes, help more people understand the you know, principles which the rich take up, and of course, overall, better their financial situation. Now, without further ado, let's dive straight into those five different principles. So the first one, the rich understand the importance of patience. Patience, it's a simple one. You've got to understand, some things just take time. The same way they say Rome wasn't built on a day. That is true. You know, the best businesses, your Amazons, your Facebooks, your Apples, they weren't built in a day. The same goes for everything you do. For example, those of you who have been pregnant before, you guys understand that, you know, you don't become pregnant and your the baby's out within five days. It doesn't matter what you do, that's just not how it works. You can try everything you want, but that's just not how it works. Some things take time. All the good things take time. And that's why the rich people understand the importance of patience. I mean, if you guys think about it, every good thing you've done, whatever it may have been, I'm sure it took a lot of time, whether that's a lot of practice, dedication, consistency. Usually, let's be honest, those things take time. It's not easy to get what we want, but you have to understand the importance of patience. That is exactly what the rich do. They understand the importance of patience. You know, they might invest in something and know that, you know, it might pay off five years online, 10 years online, not straight away. But others who, you know, who want to make money quickly think, you know, I want to make money. I need results within a few days, a few hours, you know, and that's why the rich again are rich. That is a principle that they understand. Good things take time. Good things take patience. Two, your network is your net worth. All rich people understand this. You know, there's a reason they don't hang around with people who are broke, people who don't have money. There's a reason that the rich associate closely with one another because they are rich and they want to be like the people who they associate with. As I talked about in the past and you guys have heard before, you're the average of your five closest friends. If you hang around with five millionaires, you're most likely going to be the sixth millionaire. You hang around with five broke people, you're most likely that sixth broke person. You have to associate with the people who are going to help you get to your goals. The rich hang out with people who they aspire to be like. The rich help themselves grow professionally by hanging out with people who have money, hanging out with people who are rich. Not only hanging out with people who are rich when it comes to money, but rich in mindset, you know, having a wealthy mindset, an abundant mindset. They hang out with those people because that's exactly what's going to determine their net worth. You can have all your best friends close to you, but it might not be, you know, useful when it comes to, you know, where you want to get to. So in that case, I would say, you know, hang around with the people who are on the same mission as you, who do want to become rich like you, who do want to become financially free like you. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Again, you've got to understand the importance of your network. That network is what is going to determine your net worth. And that is a principle that the rich definitely do understand. Three, the importance of using your money to make more money. The rich understand this. Now, the funny thing is, if you guys, you know, watch this video, you're ahead already of many people. Because a lot of people think that, you know, for example, a nine to five is the only way of making money. They think that, you know, people who are rich only have one way of making money. They got lucky. That is not the case. The rich understand the importance of making money. This is a principle that I think a lot of people need to hear. You know, whether you're rich, whether you're not rich, whether you aspire to be rich or you don't aspire to be rich. There are many different ways to make money. You know, not only working for money, there are many different ways to make money. And that's why the rich use their money to make more money. They invest their money. They use their money as a tool. Again, like I said, you know, no matter who you are, even if you're the average person, you have to understand this principle here. The rich use their investments to get paid. The rich use their money to get paid. The rich use their money to produce income. Let me say that again. The rich use their money to get income. You probably don't understand that, but if you do understand that, again, you're already far ahead of the rest. The rich people like to get paid. They like cash flow, and that's important. The, the way you create cash flow is by using the money you earn, you know, your earned income, to create that cash flow by investing in things, by purchasing assets, by spending on money on things which are going to bring back more money. That's the whole point of cash flow. That's what cash flow does. That's how you get cash flow. And you know, when, it's, when it comes to cash flow, the rich understand that can, this can be done in multiple different ways, whether that's businesses, whether that's real estate, whether that's stocks, whether that's dividends. Cash flow is important. You know, it's not good to have your funds tied up, but it is good to put your money to things which is going to bring you back money. That's exactly how we create cash flow again. And the rich definitely understand this. Like I said, you know, even if you're the average person, you need to understand this. Invest your money to something which is going to help bring you back more money is essential. The rich do that for many different things. The rich do that in many different ways. You know, there are people who specialize in real estate. There are people who have multiple businesses. There are people who specialize when it comes to stock market. But either way, they're focused on creating cash flow. They're focused on using their money to create more money. They're focused on using their money to create more wealth for themselves in the form of cash flow. And that rolls me right into point number four. The rich have an abundant mindset. Think about it. There's absolutely no limit on how much money we can make. 
Again, if you're stuck in the mind frame of, you know, you can only have a nine to five, then there is definitely a limit of how much money you can make because there's only a certain amount of time you can work. You, know, you only have 24 hours a day. That's the max amount you can work if your job is willing to pay you for those hours. But when it comes to making money in general, in the whole context of making money, there's absolutely no limit to how much we can make. And that's where the rich succeed. They have an abundant mindset. They know that there's no limit. You know, if a rich person has a business and that business generates 10 million in revenue in one year, they know that the next year they can double that, they can triple that. The possibility is there for it to quadruple. Go and check out all those companies again. You know, your Apples, your Teslas, your Facebooks. All of these companies are generating billions and billions of dollars each and every year because there is actually no limit on how much we can make. The rich understand that making money essentially comes down to providing value. That's how you break it down. Making money comes down to providing value. You know, for those of you who do different things when it comes to sales, you understand that when you provide a lot of value, you make your money. That's how you make your money. And if you think, you know, sales is not for you, think about all those famous rich people you know, whoever it may be, Mark Zuckerberg, Will Smith, Drake, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, whoever you think about, all of these people provide value and all of the value comes in the form of sales. Again, they're not sales when they don't directly go out and try and sell you something door to door, but they have a product which gives you value. They use themselves to provide value. They are known for what they do, again, purely because they provided value. And how do you create value? Well, it comes down to your ideas. Again, that's that abundant mindset. You have to have an open mind. You have to think, you know, I can make money out of thin air. You have to have many different ideas and that's gonna roll into point number five. But again, what I wanna say is, you need to make sure you have that mindset of thinking, you know what, yesterday I made 500 bucks, today I can make 700. When you make your first $1,000 in a day, I'm telling you, your whole life will change. It's happened to me, and I'm telling you, once that happens, your mindset completely changes. You think, why can't I do this every day? That is the exact mindset that a rich person has. Now, the only problem here I see, at least from my perspective is, when you do make that $1,000 in a day, most likely you don't make it the next day. Most likely you don't even make it the next week, but that's the thing. Once you find out how to make it the next day, the next week, the next month consistently, again, that's the perfect mindset you need to go forward. There's no limit of money on this earth. Money is abundant. You have to have an abundant mindset. Now onto principle number five. The rich see opportunities where others don't. Again, this comes down to your ideas. Rich people see opportunities where many people see obstacles. I've heard so many people say, you know, this market is saturated or that's already saturated. Dropshipping is saturated. That's not true. If you do think, you know, everything is saturated, please go to a store, your local shop, and see how many different types of water there are. Go and find out how many different water bottles there are in that shop. I guarantee you there's more than 10, there's more than 15, there's more than 20. And you know what the good thing is about all this? If you want water so badly, you can get it for free at your house. But no, water's saturated. That's not true. There are people selling bottles of water. There are people who sell everything. You absolutely must have a mindset when you see opportunities where others don't. You see, broke people are always scared they don't have enough money or it's not possible or it can't be done. Rich people say, if it hasn't been done yet, I can do it. Rich people say, you know what, I'm creative enough, I can make it happen, I can make a way. One thing that the rich do really well is they see opportunities where others don't. You know, they see business, business potential, they see opportunities to make money, and other people will say, no, it's not possible. Again, you know, I can't do that, they can't do that. How can you do that? Can't happen. Rich people discover businesses that no one sees. Rich people discover money that no one sees. And that's not because they have some kind of special mind, but it's purely because they recognize opportunity, they recognize potential opportunity. Of course, maybe nine times out of 10, it doesn't work out. But one time out of 10, it does work out, it will make up for all the other nine losses. For the one time it does work out, everyone's gonna be like, oh wow, that's an overnight success. The one time it does work out is the time that's gonna change their lives. That is how you need to see opportunities. That's how you need to see potential opportunities. You have to have the right mindset for that. You know, rich people are not gods. They don't have a special mind. You need to learn to open up your mind. You need to learn to see opportunities, like I said. You know, it doesn't get more simple than that. Learn and train your eyes to see opportunities. And this fifth point, I think is very relevant at this moment in time. There are gonna be so many different creative people at this point in time. There are people who are using their time to do things which are gonna change their life going forward. As I told you guys plenty of times before, there was a pre-COVID life, there'll be a post-COVID life. Up to you, what that means. Completely up to you. But what I'm trying to indicate here is, there are many opportunities which are being created right now. There are also many opportunities which will be created going forward. But a lot of people will not see those because they don't train their eyes to see those. A lot of people will see more obstacles than the light. A lot of people will not see opportunities when those who do see those opportunities will take advantage of those and that's how they're gonna change their lives. But like I said, there's no limit to what you can do with your ideas. So try and see opportunities, try and take advantage of those opportunities. That's how you're gonna put yourself on the right path to financial freedom. So overall, I hope you guys did enjoy today's Financial Friday and I hope you guys do listen to those five different principles and use them going forward. Also, I did try and slow down my speaking today's video because I know a lot of you guys have commented some, some funny things, you know, I talk at the speed of light and you know, I talk quicker than Usain Bolt runs. I've seen some funny comments on how quickly I talk. So I did try and slow it down today. So hopefully it did work out. But whether it did or it didn't, make sure that you guys check out those links in the description. You've got cryptocurrency, free stocks. You've got an ebook, which is a free online guide to making online profits for those of you who are new around here. Also, please make sure to check out the time you watch watches. Link is in the description below. My smartwatch company. Again, 
Check that out. That's also another opportunity for you guys. You guys can be an affiliate for me and make some money off my smartwatches. But tomorrow is the weekend. That means it's Saturday. And on this channel, the weekend is where the winners are made. The weekend is where M buys a bill. So make sure you guys are back here tomorrow for another video. I'll be here back again with a bang as always. But that's the video, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. I go on to making. You go on to making. See you guys tomorrow for the weekend. Peace.